up, guys? How are you? Good. It's cooling off a little bit. How's camp going for you so far? It's been good. Um, I think we're off to a really good start. Definitely a lot of small things to clean up, but um, I feel like we're really humming as a as a unit. Like a lot of people covering for each other, especially on defense, flying around. Um, the type of stuff that you need, uh, especially down the stretch in the season, to to be successful. So uh, we got a lot of work to do, but it's a really promising start, I'd say. You're kind of in the middle of this roster age-wise. Can, can you appreciate how much younger this team might be and instead of everybody around you being older, probably more often than not, they're younger than you now? Yeah, it's weird walking around now being older than a lot of guys in the locker room. Um, I still feel like the young guy uh, until I look around and realize I'm not. But um, I think it's it's good. It's, it's bringing us a lot of energy. Like I said, a lot of... A lot of fire, a lot of uh, energy, a lot of people flying around, um, and it's kind of bringing that uh, that almost like youthful joy back to it, where it's just like kids out there playing, um, just competing, trying to win. So it's been really good so far. A couple new uh, outside linebackers in the room with Yaya Diaby and Jose Ramirez. Uh, what have you seen from them so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, first thing that has impressed me with those guys is how fast they picked up the playbook. Uh, Todd Bull's playbook uh, is not easy to pick up. Um, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a guy that has a lot of schemes, and that's why he's so good, obviously, as a coach. But um, being able to step in and, and, and handle that playbook and, and really like execute it at a high level has been the first thing that stood out. Um, on top of both of them, they have a lot of uh, physical ability that is going to translate. And it's just like it's been cool to see them adjust so far and get better. And I know like in two weeks, after a couple more padded practices, um, I'm going to see those guys really helming. I could, I could see them uh, being really good players for us. Just what his last several months have been like for him, dealing with the Achilles and then losing Araya. Just what can you say about his ability to move through that? I don't want to say bounce back, but, but move through that and, and come out here every day and, and somehow he's, he's just playing so well. Like, just what can you say about his ability to do all this? I'm just going to say Shaq's always been one of the best dudes on this team. I mean, Coming in, my first year was his first year here. Um, and we got to connect, to obviously, that first year being new guys, even though he was not a rookie. Um, but Shaq's always been somebody I looked up to on the field, obviously, a great player. Um, but just as, uh, just as a father and uh, as a husband, he's somebody that uh, you know really set the way for me and now having my first. Um, he's somebody I, I go to now for advice on being a father and being a husband, but I will always go to him. Um, so. Yeah, he, 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 he means a lot to me. He's, he's done a lot for me personally and, and, and on the field. But uh, it's been awesome to see um, how him and Jordana uh, have, have uh, bonded together and, and uh, I mean, just made it uh, the best of a tough situation. So. How has being a new father impacted you? Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I think it uh, just puts everything into perspective a little bit. Um, somebody else in this world that's more important than me. Um, so it's been awesome so far, and uh, me and my wife have really enjoyed it, and uh, we, you know, we can't wait to, to keep, keep going on that journey. Did you ever have like a freak out moment? Like I know my mom told me that the first time she took my sister home, she's like, they don't give you an instruction manual or yeah. anything, and they expect you to all of a sudden take care of this human, and you're completely responsible for it. He can't do anything for themselves. Yeah, me and my wife have both had a handful of those moments. Uh, most of them at like 3 in the morning when the baby's crying for no reason. But uh, it's been fun, man, and just, just seeing them grow and develop has, has been all worth it. But, yeah, at the beginning, they, they send you home. Yeah, like you said, from the hospital, all this help to no help. Uh, it was definitely a learning curve, but it's been fun, and uh, it's been challenging. So. What's your wife's Jordan. Anthony, as a, as a unit, what, what's the goal for the defense this year? Is it more turnovers, more sacks, or just kind of a combination of it all? Yeah, I mean, I would say those are two two good two good places to start. Um, I mean, our goal is just total points. We want to be the the best team in the league, uh, not giving up points. Um, but in that, you need to be up there in turnovers, and you need to be up there in sacks. Um, uh, I've heard a number going out. We need thirty plus. We need thirty plus turnovers this year. Um, so that's going to put us at the top of the league. It might not be number one, but but we're going to have to be up there in sacks and turnovers. Um, and then just go play good, uh, fast, and discipline ball. Who came up with that number of 30? Uh, I'm not sure. 
That's why I said it's been floating around. I'm, I'm not sure who came up with it, but it sounds like a good number. I was saying inside the building or outside? Oh, I, I just heard it outside. There were a couple of turnovers today with everyone contributing, including uh, Yaya making one where he had to dive out, chose that What did you think of the play? Uh, I thought it was good. I uh, I didn't expect anybody to get the ball after it got uh, tipped up, but um, it, like I said, it just shows what kind of athlete he is. He's going to be able to make some plays for us. I'm excited to see it going forward. Take us back to free agency if you can. You kind of had, had some options. And just mm -hmm. What made you want to come back here and want to stay with this team? Um, I think my just belief in the coaches and the whole front office, the the vision they have for this, this team and the season. Um, I just wanted to come back, especially since this is a place that gave me my first opportunity that drafted me here. Uh, I felt like there was just unfinished business for me and for this team, and I just want to be a part of it. So that was the biggest reason for coming back. Unfinished business, what other business you want to take care of? More wins, more division titles. Um, that's what it starts with this year. Obviously, the end goal is the Super Bowl, but we got to win the division first, and we got to get in the playoffs. So. Uh, that's our main focus, and right now it just comes down to getting better every day, so we can make that happen when the season comes around. You're one of the veterans on this team, and you're one of those that have that have been there and gotten to experience all that that glory, and and you know been part of those banners being hung up in there and gotten a ring. So what do you tell so many of these younger guys? It seems like there's so many more of them this year than in the past. What, what do you tell them to kind of keep that championship mindset for them and, and keep that standard really high? I think you almost trick them into it, where, like I said, it's the cliches, but it's it's being on them about how we practice. It's about like getting better every day. It's about the details. Um, it's one of those things where uh, you're so locked in on your job and you're kind of just going through it every day. You're like, I need to get better at this. Um, I'm working on this fundamental, this technique. And then game weeks roll around. We got to focus on this for week one. And then you look up in week 17, you're in the playoffs and you're rolling. So I think it's one of those things where you get them to focus on the small stuff, uh, and then hopefully they look up at the end of the season and we're in a position to make something happen. Is that a comfortable place for you to be in, to all of a sudden be the guy that's, that's telling these young guys, this is how it is, this is the standard we set, and, and holding them accountable? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, I had a lot of good mentors, like I said, like Shaq being in there, JVP and Carl, my first year, and I saw them do it. Um, obviously, Levante and Devin, and just being with them for four years. Um, so it's a place I'm comfortable with. And we got a lot of guys doing it. That's the thing that makes it easy, is it's not one person. And it's not even just the old guys or the more established guys. It's everybody on the roster, all the way down to the young guys um, buying into that. So it makes it easy to, to set that standard, call people out, encourage people, you know, do all that thing. Why hasn't uh, the moniker of Major Anthony Nelson caught on? Are you familiar with, are you an I Dream of Teams fan? <laughs> I'm not. That is that is not, but I, it has been brought to my attention. Um, I think I haven't been pushing enough. I think that's on me. I think that needs to be my project for the year. My off the field project is get Major Anthony Nelson going. First of all, I got to watch the show and figure out what it means or who that is. Yeah. Okay. Great show. So I got to catch up. First, first, my first job is to catch up on the show. And then I'm going to be pushing it every time I talk to you guys. All right, thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. <laughs>